the dating game is getting a whole lot more competitive women want the top five percent of men this is something that you know i recently watched a video on and i was like oh shit there's actual statistics on this and it used to be 20 percent you know women wanted the top 20 percent of men but that is no longer the case guys you know they want the top five percent of men and i'll keep this as honest and truthful as i can for you guys you know if you're looking to date it's one of those things that you know you're gonna have to put so much freaking effort to pretty much be able to date in this generation and it's sad but it is what it is you know social media dating apps have really made this competitive it made a lot of options for women and all that there's no reason to hate it you know just understand the way how the dating game works is what i'm trying to tell you guys but anyways guys here's the main takeaway i want you guys to realize you know if you want to date that's cool but you're going to have to level up level up yourself to a really really high extent and here's the badass part about that you know something to really look forward if you're gonna if you're planning on dating you have to level up so freaking much that you're gonna be in the freaking top five percent because you know that statistic this was covered by better bachelor you know women want the top five percent of men on tinder man this of course that's just off of photos and all that but you know this is what i noticed as well you know the way how you present yourself on facebook instagram snapchat you have to have a pretty luxurious life and if you want to date you're gonna to have to get into that part so guess what that leaves you a lot of room to improve and it's nothing to hate because you know if you're planning on dating you're going to get up there and think about how successful you're going to be once you get up there it's going to open up so much opportunities for you guys for those of you that are lazy uh, maybe i will do it maybe i won't well guess what you're going to be freaking mad at it but the way how i'm viewing it is you know if you level up yourself to that top five percent whoa think of the lifestyle that you can have think of the dreams that you have always been thinking about you know that dream car that dream vacation traveling uh doing these fun ass activities i mean of course you have to put yourself into that high 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 caliber man that category which you know i in my personal opinion i think you should do that either way with or without women you know start achieving your dreams start pushing for them even if you don't ever hit them at least you'll look back one day and be like, oh, you know what? I pursued down that path of going after my dreams. But you have to get that mentality of, you know what? I'm going to do it either way. doesn't matter. No matter the cost, I'm going to go after it. Just keep on pushing forward. But anyways, guys, going back to women and the 5%, wanting the top 5% of men. So pretty much, you know, social media has pretty much enabled them to have like this entitlement you know it's not good but it is what it is you learn how to work around it and not to hate on it but anyways guys once you understand the way how female nature works you know they want the best option so think about it th these dating gaps they want the best obvious looking man so what do you got to do you got to level yourself up to become better looking then after that what do they want they want somebody successful so guess what you got to level up yourself in success and you're probably thinking to yourself shit that's a lot of freaking work well take this into perspective you know look at your life evaluate it right now and if you're out of shape i mean what's wrong with trying to get into shape to increase your appearance to get chicks i do understand you're trying to do it to get chicks but at the end of the day you're going to be impressed that you know you had a reason why you did it and you're going to be looking 10 times better than you know just if you sat by did nothing just been lazy and just pretty much screwed off you know it's one of those things that you guys have to take into perspective and then when you level up on your money and become more and more successful whatever it is in your degree your job uh building a business keep that in mind you know once you hit that level of achievement well guess what you know if you still don't have the chicks at the end of the day well you're 10 times more successful use that as motivation determination push yourself forward be like oh you know what i need to do this i need to do that and you know it sucks and think about this as well 
you know, you're going to have a lot of these other YouTubers uh, pushing forward this message and you'll have guys realizing, shit, you know what, I need to increase my my potential, I need to better myself, I need to make myself more attractive, more successful, so the competition is going to be getting a little bit higher, so that 5% may go up to 3% and you're like, what the hell? And other people are going to just get straight up discouraged and it may suck, but it is what it is realize that you know it's better to better yourself for a certain reason and even if you don't hit that goal in mind you're still better off than where you would have if you just got discouraged and did nothing took no action or whatever so realize that guys i'm just trying to put that for that message forward so you kind of understand oh you know what even if i improve for this reason and this is the reason why like you know i did retention and all that so for those of you that watch my retention videos you're like oh shit you know what that makes so much freaking sense and then the reasoning changed behind it and you know it stuck with me so it's one of those things that it's not bad to do anyways guys so social media and all that has pretty much entitled them to become really picky selective and you know there's so many options and you know what it's okay guys at the end of the day you got to learn to be happy with yourself because you know what realize this another realization that you guys need to take in you know you're gonna probably end up living majority of your life alone and that's sad but it is what it is uh you know life is think about it like this like if life was a video game and you can select a character and you you either chose like the the gender male or female and you're like you know what I actually want to go uh, instead of playing the game on easy mode, you're like, you know what, let's play it on hard mode and go as the guy. Well, guess what? You're playing as the, the guy character and life's going to be hard for you. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> and you just got to accept the fact that, you know what, life's going to be 10 times harder for you. Nobody's going to save you. Nobody's going to put in the work. Nobody's going to put in the effort. Nobody's going to take care of you. Nobody's going to even ask you how you're doing or just check up on you. And that's the way how pretty much life as a man is like on hard mode if you to compare it to a video game is, you know, you ended up, you didn't have a choice on it, but you know, if you're a, you're a man, guess what? You're playing on the hardest mode and you should be proud of that because nobody else is playing this, this game on hard mode. So come in, come to that realization that, you know what, this path isn't going to be easy. It's going to be a struggle, but in the end you're gonna be like shit you know i ended up achieving everything that i needed to you hit all your quests i mean this is another video another youtuber that i watched and it made so much freaking sense i'm like shit you know i can actually relate to that and you know his name went on youtube is self-developed and then he changed his uh to his actual name his youtube channel to uh was it david hammond anyways he was talking about you know pretty much like skyrim you start off with nothing you're pretty much in your robes and you know it's up to you to level up your character you have to build them up and you have to pretty much learn all these skills so if you guys played skyrim you know what i'm talking about you gotta end up picking up going down your own path and you know fighting all these bosses all these um what is it these other ais npcs um and pretty much gather stuff from them from the whole world and level yourself up so to apply this to kind of like your life think about it you start off with nothing no value everybody starts off the same you know if you're to start off a brand new game the only thing is everybody starts off at different times so you have other people that just got the game today and they're like oh shit you know what starting off level one and you know everybody's like looking up to the guy that's level 300 and you're like shit you know what he's driving the freaking lambo and he's built as hell and he's always hanging out with chicks but you're barely a level 12 bro and you're like shit you know what i barely have freaking shoes and you're trying to compare yourself to somebody that you know that's been playing the game for the longest time and they know how it works they know the cheats they know the advantages and all that so anyways guys my point being is learn how the game works realize that you know at, when you first first start off you ain't going to start off with shit it's up to you to level up in the game if you just put the game aside and just be like shit you know what it sucks 
Well, you ain't gonna go nowhere. You have to start putting in the work. Anyways, guys, if you guys understood my message and you know, the main message of this whole video is to level up yourself. And I know I'm gonna probably title this something like top 5% of women only want the, or you know, women want the only top 5% of men. This is just pretty much just to get your guys' attention, make you guys come to this realization that, you know, you need to start bettering your life, start living it to the max, and start putting in the work, the effort, if you guys want to start seeing results. If you don't start seeing results, well, guess what? That's on you. Anyways, guys, don't forget to drop me that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and check out some of the other videos. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me here today, and I hope you guys have a great day.